I think that uh, in the public opinion lies one of the greatest potentialities of basic income. It happens that uh, the more it's known, the more it's understood and the more it's like basic income. So I think uh, we have to do a lot of pedagogy among public opinion. We have to explain, explain and explain what basic income is. 71% of Europeans support the introduction of universal basic income. So 71% of Europeans, that's a huge number. The coronavirus crisis has shown the vulnerability of our social security systems and people. So I believe that this crisis has had an impact on the fact that people are now a lot more supportive of the universal basic income. And I believe that the research and trial in different EU states funded by EU would be very interesting in terms of basic rights, basic human rights for income and mental, mental health and well-being. The societies have changed, the working life has changed, and employment has become more precarious, but the society has not changed after this in, in uh, terms of the social safety networks. So those systems have to be reformed. So I think a better proposal for that could be starting from a low quantity, let's say a euro dividend uh, for all European citizens. And that, I think, uh, it could help to fight against also euro skepticism while uh, strengthening our sense of belonging to the European Union. And this could be financed in many ways, for example, uh, by a European VAT, a European corporative tax, a European carbon tax, or financial transaction tax. There are many ways. And its benefits, I think, would be great for all. In the EU, there is also a European-wide citizens initiative that is going to be launched at the 25th of September this year. So there is the goal to gather uh, one million signatures for this uh, universal basic income 